The gate is moving. Fifth race field. Woodrow Wilson elimination. Why get it moving up? Here they come. Off stride before the start. Best of the West. And they're off. Cam's top gun for the lead. With inaugural ball and up on the outside, Ryan's way. Round the first turn. It's inaugural ball. Ed Moisea. Sprinting to the front by two and a half. Cam's top gun second. Ryan's way will drop in third. Then two to Ombro Roadrunner. Two more to Real Artist. Then it's Give Me What I Need. And three, launch code. Quarter, 27 and four. Straight away down the back stretch, inaugural ball, and Moisea out there winging by three and a half. Cam's top gun, second the same margin. Ryan's way third, then another two and a half more to Ombro Roadrunner. The outside, real artist, who's about 10 lengths from the lead. Two more, give me what I need into the outer flow. Another two and a half launch code. They approach the half, and like a shot, here comes real artist and Campbell. By the half, real artists swiftly down to the front. Half, 57 and 1. The end, it's real artist. Leads it a length, length and a half over inaugural ball. Two to Cam's top gun, third. Give me what I need, the outside fourth. Ryan's way, will need some room fifth. Then it's launch code sixth. Ombro Roadrunner. Approach three quarters, and real artist with a length lead. Inaugural ball right on his heels. At a length and a half, Cam's top gun. Three quarters, 125 even. They come to the top of the stretch. And it's real artists striding out here by three, four lengths. Dogro Ball can't stay with him. Moving through on the inside is Cam's top gun. Then from between horses, give me what I need. But it's all real artists. An impressive performance tonight by six, seven lengths. Close for second between Ombro Roadrunner and Cam's Top Gun in 152 and 2. Reminded the Woodrow Wilson final take place a week from tonight for a purchase of $730,750. And $730,750, the Woodrow Wilson final purse next Friday. In the winner's circle, Arlene and Joel Siegel's real artist, Jill Baco by Arts Place, trained by Jim Campbell and driven by brother John Campbell. First win for a real artist and the fastest two-year-old mile of the year, 152-2. and two. Yes, with winning driver John Campbell here, winning with the real artist. Very impressive winner of the Woodrow Wilson here, and uh, you qualified three horses tonight. No doubt we'll take this one. Yeah, I think I'll go back with him in the final, it looks like right now anyway. Now, tell us about the first two starts here, the first two stakes starts, especially last, uh, last out, uh, this horse looked like he was pretty tough to control down on the inside. Uh, yeah, he's not really a bad horse. He just, I just had him in a bad spot. I, I didn't give him a very good drive, and I got in a spot where I couldn't get out, and when... Everybody else was calling for speed. He thought it was time to go, and we just didn't have any room. Well, tonight, he looked pretty handy, just uh, sweeping to the front. And uh, how much uh, did he uh, let it all out at the end? Did he have a lot left? Oh, he didn't have a lot left, but I, I made him pace through the stretch just because uh, he hasn't been uh, uh, stretched out yet. You want them to go a little bit uh, to tighten them up for next week. Uh, but he, he did have some left. He wasn't all out. Did uh, Jim make any changes at all? No, no changes at all. It wasn't the horse's fault. It was my fault. Your fault. Definitely. <laughs> All right, John. Well, congratulations. Great win here, and good luck in the Wilson final. Okay, thanks a lot, Ken. Okay, John Campbell here for the uh, Tagliabue Connections. Jim Campbell, of course, brother to John and Arlene and Jules Siegel. Here's the